Hey YouTube, Nickel and Diamond here again. I wanted to do a quick project and share it with you today so that you could see what it looks like when you do a DIY ceramic coating on a turbine housing. I wanted to see if this was doable at home or in a garage, if you had a garage oven that you used for something like powder coating to see what the viability was, and I think the results here are pretty interesting. The first step for this process is to make sure that you bake off all of the grease and whatever may be contaminating the surface. Make sure you've got a clean surface to start with. I got this coating from a company called Caldwell's and they have a couple different options. This is the really bright chrome ceramic coating that they use and it's a very effective product. Uh, I like the application really well. I just brushed it on with a foam brush. Um, it would look a little cleaner if you were able to spray it on. It should apply pretty nicely with a HVLP gun or something of that nature that has a large spray nozzle. So I think there's a lot of options here. The nice thing about this application is it goes on pretty well. It dries. Really, really important thing for this though is you really need to use this in a well ventilated area. This is highly dangerous. Um, this is a carcinogenic compound. They use a lot of really harsh solvents. So you want to be really careful with it. Uh, when you're done applying it, you want to bake it off using their provided instructions. When you're done applying it, you want to bake it off first at a lower temperature, about uh, 100 degrees Fahrenheit or so, to start evaporating off the moisture and get them cleaned off. Then you want to up the temperature according to their instructions to about 500 degrees Fahrenheit and bake it off for about an hour. And it went on really well. Then when you take it out, it comes out as a very uh, powdery white finish initially, and then you have to scrub it and polish it with something like steel wool um, is what I used. I think I had double lot steel wool uh, for this project and it worked pretty well. Um, it'll polish up to a really nice finish and it seems to be a pretty durable coating. I think it should help to keep the temperatures around the outside of the turbine down, help keep the uh, thermal energy from the engine inside the turbine and help spin it up a little bit faster uh, as well as help keep some of the engine bay temperatures down a little bit. So. It should be a little bit more manageable to keep the whole system cooled off and running efficiently rather than having the turbine just act as a heater to turn the engine intake temperatures nuclear. So that would be a bad thing. So I think this will be a very interesting addition or an upgrade to the turbo that I'm rebuilding for installing in the Miata and that should help to keep spool times low and keep the low end torque high um, as much as possible with a journal bearing turbo. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, like, comment, or subscribe. Uh, there's going to be a lot more content coming, um, especially now that I've got computer set back up and all of those good things.